Once more, the one and only is back, and as you could tell from the title, I'm here showcasing the new Nike Sport Bands that finally arrived in the mail. I may be running on 3 hours of sleep on the daily since the grind to pump out these videos is no joke, but that's okay because my heart is in this fight forever. And this is my passion, bringing you all quality and entertaining content. We recently reviewed the new collection for regular sport bands and now the Nike ones arrived and these are the ones I am really excited about. When the UPS man showed up at my door, I asked if I could give him a bro hug, but he said he doesn't get paid enough for that and left, so oh well. Anyway, I'm hosting an Apple Watch Series 5 giveaway so you can start matching bands yourself. Simply subscribe right now, not only to be entered, but so that you don't miss any of my band reviews and everything else you need to know about the world of tech. Head over to my iPhone 11 Pro review for official rules. Alright, let's get right into it. So guys, I apologize that I had to do these in three separate videos, but two of my leather bands are still not here, so instead, I'll do these in batches to help you make a better decision as soon as possible, especially with these Nike bands because these are the ones that always seem to slip away and always go out of stock the quickest. Have you ever been undecisive over a purchase and want to ponder on it, but once you finally decide to purchase it, boom, gone, never to be seen again. Either that or bloody scalpers have them on eBay for $250 a pop. Basically what I'm saying is that with the seasonal bands, especially the Nike bands, if you want one or two or 20, buy them. They go by quick. All the bands featured in this video are the Nike Sport with the perforations and the Nike Sport Loop variants, and they all come in at $49 each. All right, enough introductions, let's begin. So we have six total new Nike bands, and the first of them is Black Pink Blast. Man, let me tell you, I love the Nike bands because the perforations either contrast or complement the main color, and boy does this contrast heavily against a solid black band, but makes it so unique. No doubt, the pink accents are super flashy and fun, energetic, and full of vibrancy so that you are ready to tackle any workout. The band is just wonderful. I really dig the black against that neon pink and reminds me a lot of the black with the Volt. Both are neon colors and both evoke a feeling of youth. Really, really nice band. Up next, Desert Sand and Black. So this band reminds me a lot of the pure platinum and black Nike Sport band, except the Desert band has a slight tan, almost orange hue to it. It works great. It's a really muted color, and unless you notice it from really up close, you'd never be able to tell that this is more of a sand color rather than just white or gray. Although, normally, I'm a bit weary of bands that look too similar to others, even though I have about eight bands that are eight slightly different shades of blue. But there is a no tolerance policy for haters on this channel, no sir. I mean, it doesn't look that similar to Pure Platinum, but you have to admit, it's one of the duller offerings for the Nike band, which certainly isn't a bad thing. Some people despise flashy colors, so this band just may be the band for you. Up next, we have Royal Pulse, and may I say, yes, Queen. This blue is that of the royal families. This blue is the color of royalty, and I totally dig it. It isn't no sky blue, nor a navy blue, and not even an ocean blue. It's a blue of its own category, and a blue I have yet to see on any band. The black accents around the perforations are very subtle, and that's exactly what makes this band so pristine. Of all the Nike Sport bands, this one is definitely my favorite and a band sure to sell out almost immediately. Get them while you can, folks. We now move on to a different style of bands. You already know what it is, the official new Nike Sport Loops for Fall 2019. So the cool thing about these that differ from the regular Sport Loop is that they are actually reflective at night or whenever bright light is shown onto them. It is more of a safety concern for those running late at night so you don't get hit by a car. Just keep in mind, if you're ever running from the feds, take this band off as you will get caught, no joke. Don't ask how I know. It works exceptionally well for the gym as well as these are infinitely adjustable and come in all of these fun colors. Let's look at some of them. First, we have Pink Blast and True Berry, which is composed primarily of this black band with black accents flanking both sides of the band, as well as a black plastic tip where the band ends. But the beauty of it is in the richness of the pink and purple intertwining to create this velvety smooth appearance that looks tremendously well on the darker casing Apple watches. Believe it or not, it's not as strong a pink as shown on the website. The pink is just enough. After that, we have Desert Sand and Volt, and is a beautiful combination of the black sport band with the rainbow color specks littered about the band, and the iconic Volt color from the sport bands with a huge splash of purple thrown in. Again, the primary color is black with black linings on both sides, but then the design on the inside is this interlocking and bouncy array of green and then purple, beautifully put together to create such a stunning band. You won't find one like this anywhere else. 
the green and purple kind of remind me of Barney in a weird way. You guys remember that creepy dinosaur looking thing? Sheesh, that thing gave me nightmares as a kid. But this band will certainly have the opposite effect. And last but not least, we have Royal Pulse and Lava Glow, which once again, the primary color to the band is black with interweaving combinations of orange and blue, but isn't as apparent like the Desert Sand and Volt. The orange and blue here kind of mixes and combines together to give an appearance of a single color from certain angles. But upon further inspection, you can see that this isn't the case and makes for a very sick looking band. It's really dope, especially with how the nylon reflective weaves add to the overall appearance of the band. I think it works well and follows the same motif as the other sport loops for this season. Black with very interesting, kind of spooky colors. My only complaint for this band is that in dimly lit scenarios, the band gives off this almost solid gray bland appearance, but in direct sunlight, it really pops. Another reason I love making these videos is because this band is not as vibrant as Apple's website and could be misleading for those who order online. It only really pops with that blue and orange when there is plenty of light to go around. I love this season's Nike Sport Loops. I just kind of wish they would have thrown in brighter colors in there. Maybe a vibrant red or even something like glacier white with other colors, but we might just have to wait for the other seasons. Guys, I love every single band from this batch. They are all unique and each possess their own charm. This was a heavily requested video as many of you may not know, but Apple Watch bands are kind of a big deal. And I know you guys want to see how these colors look like in real life rather than in Apple's picture perfect studio photography that can be a bit misleading at times. If you found this video useful, give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I still have the leather bands left to review. I'll get on that video as soon as they arrive. I can't wait to see you all there. Have a good one. Peace. Thank you